Hello children. Myself Shubhai Patel Kukarni. I am going to start today a chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. This is new introduction to you. Trigonometry in name only. Prime means 3. Gon means size. Metri means measurements. Three size measurements. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics and is sum which we cannot by seeing, we cannot measure the heights, distances by using a branch of mathematics trigonometry, we can find out. Try three sides measurements. By using right angle, triangle, three sides and by using acute angle, we can write the ratios of trigonometry, that is trigonometric ratios, we will say. By using this, we can express the relationship between sides and acute angles. By using these trigonometric ratios, we can find out the distances and heights of uh, three sides, we can find out the unknown side, we can find out. So there are trigonometric, there are six trigonometric ratios. So now trigonometric ratios of the angle. Trigonometric ratios AD. Trigonometric. Trigonometric ratios. Divided by hypotenuse. 
hypotenuse Yeah. 
down. Sin theta is equal to which is nothing angle for that opposite side. O means opposite side. Opposite side divided by hypotenuse. In short cut, I can remember. Sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. And cos theta. And cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse side. So adjacent means shortcut hypotenuse. For which uh, adjacent side in which acute angle will be there in right angle triangle? For that acute angle, adjacent side and hypotenuse. So then then tan theta two. So, T means tan theta. Tan theta is equal to O means opposite side divided by adjacent side. This is the basic six trigonometric equations. If you know these three children, if you know these three trigonometric equations by remembering so far, so so sine theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse, cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse, tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. If you know this much, then automatically you can write it. See, cosec tan means cosec. We can say in the short cut. So cosec of uh, uh, cosec theta becomes reciprocal of sin theta. That is cosec theta. Cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta. That is one by sin theta. Then reciprocal of this becomes hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Right, don't you know? So cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta. Reciprocal of sin theta means hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Reciprocal of sin theta is hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Cosec sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta. Sec theta is equal to reciprocal of cos theta. That is nothing but cos theta reciprocal is hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Okay. Then tan theta, cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta. Cot theta is equal to reciprocal of tan theta. Then this is equal to adjacent side by opposite side. So see now, children. So instead of like this, we have to practice. Okay. Uh, so you should know what all these these trigonometric ratios. So uh, we wishing for all these uh, names. Sine of angle, cosine of angle. So now, if you know secant of angle, a of angle, hypotenuse of angle, or a of angle. So instead of these, using we can remember it will be no. So ka to, so ka to, S O X O C H ka T O A to. If you remember this much, you can write your six trigonometric ratios easily. It, it is a trick to remember all six trigonometric ratios. Sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Cosec theta reciprocal of sin theta. Hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Reciprocal of cos is sec theta. Sec theta hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Cot theta is reciprocal of this means adjacent side divided by opposite side. If you know this much, you know all six trigonometric ratios. You can remember easily, children. These are the tricks to remember the all six trigonometric ratios. These are the basic six trigonometric ratios. If you know this much, you can solve trigonometry. Okay, children. Right now.